Samantha Sheely and Zach Weenham live on opposite sides of Columbia and have never met, but they share one thing in common. They were both victims of a spring break break-in. This time last year, it was about three days before I was going on my spring break trip. Two men broke into the back of our house. They went around to the back in our backyard and shattered out our um, half bath window. There's blood all over my carpet. They stole a gun, I guess some money, an Xbox. And luckily um, our neighbor was in town and he heard it shatter. And so he was able to run outside and he was screaming, making lots of noise. And fortunately they actually jumped back out and ran. Samantha says even though nothing was taken, she still checks the locks on her doors and windows every night. It took me a while to feel safe. Um, it's just a really unnerving feeling knowing that there was an intruder in your home. But Zach wasn't so lucky. So you never got anything back? No. Deputy Misty Puckett with the Richland County Sheriff's Department recommends that all residents leaving town should make sure their doors are locked and double check windows to make sure they're locked as well. A lot of times people know that spring breakers are out of town so they know that their home apartment is vacant. Deputy Puckett says in addition to making sure your home is secure, residents leaving town should set their lights and TVs on a timer in order to set the appearance that someone is home. Another service that we provide for the residents of Richland County is if they're going out of town, they can be put on a special property checklist in their area. That means deputies will periodically check their residents throughout the day and night. Zach and Samantha say they've learned their lesson and won't be announcing any spring break plans for this year. And they suggest you do the same. Margaret Ann Carter, Carolina News.